Hi, Dean from Leisure Travel Vans. Today we're going to have a look at the 2014 Unity Corner Bed. Let's have a look at this great motorhome. Starting on the outside, and we're on the driver's side here. So let's start right here. We got optional side turn cameras. Now, here's where our generator is located. We have two options on the generator. You can go with a propane generator or you can go with the optional diesel generator. Onan, of course. Easy access in here. Look at this. We got some storage space. Great storage. We also have our sewer line right there. Easy connection there. And of course, we're all built on dual wheels on the Unity Corner Bed. So dual, we also use spray foam insulation in here to keep it nice and quiet when you're going down the road. And for 2014, rust protection is standard. As we're moving down on the, on the motorhome, you can see we've got our six gallon electric gas hot water tank. For 2014, we also have an optional on-demand tankless water heater. And of course, our easy connection for our uh, 30 amp shore power. And then down here is our service module. So we've got all the different things. We've got our winterizing bypass valve. We've got our connection for satellite. And we've also got our connection for cable. We have, of course, exterior shower. Very important if you have little animals, puppies, want to wash their feet. We've got hot and cold running water. You can even have a shower outside if you want. Got our connection in for our shore water. And of course, we've got a propane disconnect switch so I can turn off my propane if I'm going on ferries. Nice little feature. You don't have to turn any valves off. We got a remote fill for our propane and we got our black water flush and of course our easy access to our gray and our black dump tanks. And this one has the optional macerator toilet. With this one, I can uh, dump my tanks into a little sewer line if I want or into a big sewer line and I'll actually pump it uphill. Nice little option if you're interested in a macerator pump on the toilet. Of course, in all of the unis, we use full body paint, which means we paint everything. And of course, we use five coats of paint, three coats of color, two coats of clear. We have three exterior colors for 2014. Of course, this is our silver. We also do mocha and we have a brand new white suede color. And we'll see that in some later videos. And it's very nice. Working our way back, you're going to see we've got a full fiberglass rear mass. Very important. Front and rear mass, full fiberglass. That keeps you nice and warm in cold weather. It also keeps you nice and cool in hot weather because it's fully insulated. And of course, we've got our sexy frameless glass. Down here, we've got our, our hitch with our seven pin connector. This will pull up to 5,000 pounds. Backup camera. We're on the passenger side now, and this is the Feast de Resistance on the corner bed model. Look at the storage space. Full aluminum door. Wow, look at the storage area in here. You can take this right out, and it's all storage. I could have a little nap in here. In the event that you need extra sleeping, the Unity corner bed is the model for you. As we work our way down, look at this, even more storage. If you need an RV that's small, 24 and a half feet long, you need lots of storage, Unity Corner Bed's the one. Look at this, big storage area. Another little storage area here for your toolbox or whatever you want to carry. And we've also got a new location for our power awning. And we've got a lit power awning now. So we've got LED lights running through it. It's really cool. I'm going to show you that right now. Easy access for the power awning. Just press a button and the awning comes out. I love this power awning. Not only is it seven feet in width, it's over 12 feet in length. Very simple, you can slide these legs out. Drop them down. So you've got two great options here. You can tent peg them into the ground, or if it's kind of a breezy day, you can lock them in place right here. So on a windy day, my awning's not gonna go anywhere. So now there's no need to have those tacky lamp lights that you hang on your awning, built-in LED lights. Is that perfect or what? And once again, when you wanna bring the awning back in, super easy. just locks right in place. And press the button, awning comes in.
Now the great feature about this awning, it's a box awning, so the entire awning, the canvas is completely secure so that no damage can happen to it and it doesn't get beat up by the sun. Very important feature to have when you're RVing. Sure, the Unity Corner Bed, of course, is built on the Mercedes Benz Sprinter Cutaway Chassis. 325 foot pounds of torque, 188 horsepower. It is a little rocket ship going down the road. If you've never driven one, you got to take one out for a ride. It's fun, it's fast, and it gets great fuel economy. A couple great little features on the Unity Corner Bed. Of course, we've got our little LED entrance lights. When you open the door, they come on. And of course, we've got our full insulated fiberglass front mass. More aerodynamic when you're going down the road, it's fully insulated, so once again, it keeps you nice and cool in the hot weather and keeps you nice and warm in cold weather. Okay, if the Unity Corner Bed exterior doesn't make you want to run out and buy one, let's have a look inside because this is fun. This is how simple it is to make camp. Press a button, my power slide out goes out. We use a four track system, one on each side top, one each side bottom. That way the slide out goes out square every time. Is this fun or what? We're gonna start off in the bathroom on the Unity Corner Bed. Most small RV manufacturers don't like to talk about their bathroom. We're gonna talk about the bathroom. First, we got a curved sliding door. That's like for entertainment. And look at this, stand up shower. Beautiful dry bath, three piece bath, stand up shower, big skylight. I love it. Perfect. I'm clean. I'm ready to go. What a great bathroom. Look at this medicine cabinet. Of course, we got a, our own private little bathroom sink, and of course, more storage underneath. And hey, look underneath here full water filtration system. That's new for 2014. Filters all the water. And of course, China toilet. Very, very nice. Hey, you gotta love this bathroom. Lots of room. How's this for a great bed? We're in the Unity Corner bed. Look at the room I've got. Look at the cabinets that we have. Tons of cabinets, plus look at all the glass. Oh, MCD shades. Very nice, new for 2014. You gotta love those, but lots of room. I don't need to sleep outside. I could have them sleep here. I'm over six feet tall, as you all know. Look, lots of room. I got my shoes on. Still lots of room. And look, bigger TV. Love it. Now this is a real mattress that is comfortable. Most RVs do not have comfortable beds. This is a comfortable bed. Plus, look, we talked about it earlier, storage. Ooh, double struts in the door so they don't hurt you. Solid wood. Oh, look at that. Oh, I never get tired of that. Solid wood, baby, solid wood. Reading lights, more storage, double struts, European hinges, curved doors. And look, where's your bedding gonna go? I know you're gonna ask me that, Dean, where do we put the bedding? Hey, how about underneath here? Look at that. If you need more storage space, we even have it here. Look at this, beautiful hanging closet, plus drawers, full extension slide, drawers come all the way out. And I really like this little feature. Anybody that has to winterize their own unit, look at this, easy access to the hot water tank with the winterizing bypass valve right there. Very easy to winterize. We're on the uh, driver's side of the Galliari, and of course you can see we got our big convection microwave. So not just a microwave, but a convection microwave. So you can, you can cook a chicken, you can make pizza, you can make bread, pop popcorn, it's beautiful. And of course, our beautiful 6.1 that turns into a seven cubic foot three-way fridge. And look at the size of this fridge. Look at that, boom, I can slide out the freezer, and now I'm all refrigerator. So if you're doing a day tripping or you're going out to a sporting event, you can carry a few extra beverages. Let's have a look on the passenger side of the galley. Look at this, more storage up top and pull out pantry. Look at the size of that, all your canned goods. Plus, we've got new handles on here. Nice little lock system so it won't open. Oh, I love this, look at this. Pot and pan drawer. Look at the size of that, look how deep it is. Beautiful, full drawer extension glides. Look at the storage space. Lots of storage. And if that's not enough, hey, what well, about underneath the sink? More storage. If you love to cook, this is the galley for you. Look at the size of the galley. Huge galley area, of course, solid Corian, private collection Corian. And look, spice rack, two burner stove, spark ignition, beautiful little built-in garbage can. And of course, look at this, stainless steel, deep sink. Plus, whoosh, cutting board, bam, done.
Need a place for dishes and glasses? We're still not done in the galley. Boom! More galley area, more storage space. Okay, I've had a place to shower, I've had a place to sleep, and now I've got a beautiful dining room area to eat and to watch TV, which I'm gonna show you in a second, but look at this big dining room area, all done in ultra leather with memory foam. We got our French stitching in here, beautifully well done. Of course, we've got our MCD shade, so we have a little bit of light time light and then daytime privacy, and look at this, cabinets, big cabinets, much more storage space. And of course, we've got LED lights on a dimmer switch, which is perfect, but this dining room table, not only do I have lots of room for four people for dinner, but it also makes into a bed. Let me show you how that works. In case you have kids or grandkids, you need to sleep somebody else, look how easy this is. Lock it in place. How's this, a great second bed. Doesn't get any easier to that. Make into a bed, make into a dining room table. We've got a total of four seat belts, and if you don't think we have enough storage in the corner bed with that big outside storage, all the cabinets inside, how about a little more storage space? Why not? More storage. You gotta love the unity corner bed. Dean likes to watch TV and play my video games once in a while. So they put in a bigger TV for me, 29 inches. It turns and swivels and faces to me. You gotta like that. I can eat and watch TV all at the same time. How about some more storage? Why not? I can take two houses full of stuff with me. Look at this storage in here. All double struts, European hinges, curved cabinets. Of course, solid wood. Oh, I love it. The biggest change for 2014 on the Uni Corner bed is this. Another hanging wardrobe closet. Is that not great? Look at the size of it. Storage underneath. On this side, I got a place for my shoes so I'm not gonna fall over in the step well over somebody's shoes. Now that is some great engineering. Here's our service center right here. Easy access right above the entrance door and you can see we've got our, our uh, optional stabilizer jacks electric. We've got our 600 watt inverter. We've got our control center and we use the monitor system that are built onto the tank so I get exact readings of what my tanks are doing and how full they are. Water pump, of course, water heater, and of course our slide out mechanism and our optional generator switch, regardless if you go with the diesel or the propane. For 2014 on all the Unity products, we've gone to two six volt batteries, which gives you more amp hours on the batteries. Plus we've got an optional 95 watt solar panel that you can get on, combine the two. If you're a dry camper, you're gonna love that feature. For 2014, we also redesigned the U-Lounge, very similar to the one that we use in the Murphy bed. So you have an optional U-Lounge if you didn't want the traditional booth. I love the Mercedes-Benz chassis. I don't know if you realize it or not, but I actually have the motor running. It's pin quiet, it doesn't make any noise. Love the Sprinter chassis. Look at this panoramic view. I've got no overhead. A lot of, a lot of class C's and B plus models have a big overhead. It's like driving in a tunnel. I'm not driving in no tunnel. I want to see the open road. So I got lots of room. Plus I got all the conveniences on a Sprinter chassis, air conditioning. I've got tilt steering, telescopic steering, cruise control, power windows, got everything that I want to have. Plus I've got my stereo system with a built-in GPS. It's got Bluetooth and it's also got streaming Bluetooth and it's got a great little GPS system, so if you're lost, you'll become unlost real quick. Five-speed automatic transmission, lots of power. 188 horsepower, 325 foot-pounds of torque. It turns on a dime. Watch this little turn here. Round and round we go, and zip, there we go. Love it. I love our stereo system that we have up front. It does backup camera, and of course, it does the GPS and it does AM, FM, it also has Sirius radio, which you gotta have, and the Bluetooth features are great. Also down here, you can see my little radio switch, that turns the system off and on because I never pull power from my chassis batteries. My rear camera switch, I turn that on, when I hold the button, it'll show me my tow vehicle in the back. That's a great little feature. Plus, we've got some jack lights in case I leave my stabilizer jacks down, it'll give me a little warning. The other great feature that we have is in case you leave the stabilizer jacks down, and in case you don't see the red light, they automatically come up when you turn on the ignition. You gotta love that. Some other great features that we have, of course, we've got the Mercedes-Benz swivel seats, so they turn front and back, and of course, ultra leather. Synthetic man-made leather, doesn't get hot, doesn't get cold, doesn't crack, easy to clean, all done with French stitching. Very comfortable. You could drive this coach for hours and never get tired. Never get tired of driving a Mercedes-Benz, never. 
the 2014 Unity Corner Bed. What a great RV. If you don't have one, you got to get one. It's the ultimate in storage, interior and exterior. If you love to dry camp, you got grandchildren or children you want to take, lots of sleeping area. You got to see one in person. You got to test drive it and see it. Check out your local Leisure Travel Van dealer. Give us a call at the factory. Dean from Leisure Travel Vans.